Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna work on a LT K40. So it's one of the newest uh, low budget uh, LGs. So we're gonna be replacing the screen. Actually on this one, I got uh, the screen with the frame. Look how beautiful the new frame is gonna look. Uh, you can always buy it like that or just buy the screen by itself. So this one had a big uh, drop right here in the corner so the back cover even lift. So using the flat tool like this, we are gonna go all the way around just lifting that screen. I don't know, the screen kind of loose but if you if your is a little bit stronger, just be a little careful. Uh, I'm gonna just go all the way around like this. And like I always say, like when you open these fonts, don't just pull it at once. I'm gonna hold that that click right there. But we have um, a fingerprint on this one. As you guys can see, we have a fingerprint cable right there. So don't pull it at once, because uh, you can go ahead and damage this cable. So I'm gonna just unplug that cable. That's it. Comes like a Lego style cable, as you guys can see. Yeah. After that, we're gonna quick uh, remove all these screws just to get access to the uh, L uh, to the motherboard and obviously to the LCD. Just we're gonna remove all of them just quick. Okay, that was the last screw. And using the same tool, we're gonna remove uh, this uh, plastic that just holds in place uh, the motherboard and all the cables connected to it. So we're just gonna pull this out, put it on the side. Um, first things we're gonna do is the, from here, we are going to unplug the battery and also we are going to remove the seam tray which is on this side let's see there you go that's the seam tray gonna remove that <clears throat> now i'm going to just unplug the lcd because I don't see any other little cable all the way around. I'm gonna go closer so you guys can see how it goes. I see the camera right here. The camera uh, flex, that's the, the selfie camera. So you guys can see, we can just remove it from there. As you guys can see, we have no the screws holding this motherboard that's why we have the this big uh, plastic tray just holding everything down we have just a couple of uh, clips i see some tape around here but i don't even think that's holding there there we go we got it loose just using those one of these uh, uh, tools that comes free when you order the screen at this point i'm gonna lift from top to the bottom and pull it because as you guys can see, uh, we have the charging port right here. If you have any doubt if you can replace the charging port, yes, this is replaceable by doing soldering. As you guys can see, we have the charging port. The universal charging port is not the type C like in the newer models or the more expensive models. As you guys can see, he have uh, the headphone jack also and the seam reader and that's pretty much it i'm gonna put that on the side and now we're gonna remove all the little components like uh bottoms flex cables battery earpiece and we're gonna start doing uh one by one at this point you can al always grab uh the new part put it uh, side by side and you can compare or look what part you're gonna need what parts do not come on the new uh, screen with the frame. So first thing, I'm gonna grab this uh, little plastic uh, kind of microphone. You see we have one on the top and one on the bottom. 
Okay, that being done, now I can go ahead and move to the ear speaker. Go like really deep underneath. You don't want to break that ear speaker, you see? And we're gonna install it on the new LCD. Just like so. So now we have uh, some more little cables. So we have the power and the volume button, as well as the uh, new accessibility button right here on the side. Uh, I'm gonna start by these little flex. You know, they always use these little uh, flex, many of the LGs, most likely for a speaker connections. So just gonna remove that. It's very easy to break, so you gotta be extra careful on that one and it's gonna look good. All right, for the next, we're gonna go and remove the battery right now. To do remove the battery, the same thing. I'm gonna use uh, my very strong uh, uh, flat tool right here and push from the bottom to the top. As you guys can see, it has a pretty, pretty strong adhesive. The adhesive they use for the batteries is uh, quite strong. There we go. We are having some progress like that. There we go. We remove the battery. If it stretches a little bit, just uh, just push it down and make it look normal again. So, but always try not to stretch the battery that much. As you guys can see, that's the battery. Now we see the access to that little cable and which we can just peel it like really, really careful when you peel this cable like that. You don't wanna rush this. You take your time. This can damage the cable, you see? This is gonna come out like that. They have sides, so you see, they don't kind of look the same, but when you put them back, kind of like one side goes first and the other one later. So believe me, like this, this uh, needs a little patience. You can, <laughs> if you have no patience, like just, just give it to somebody so who can help you. <laughs> Cause the other side is uh, just the same, so. You guys can see that's the bottom right there if they if this one breaks yeah uh, you can always go ahead and replace it so we're gonna put this one in the new frames and i'm gonna show you how it works there we go we put that one first then we put the bottom same thing like i told you one side uh, goes first and it's gonna slide the other one right there i don't know i cut my nail the other day so don't judge me you see it clicks and this little piece is the one that uh, basically holds the bottom on place. So you have to push the bottom and then slide that little piece in there. So as you guys can see, it's going to have a nice click. All right, same thing on the other side. All right guys, that's how you installed all these little buttons. When you finish, make sure all of them click. If they don't, just go back and try to redo everything and make sure they clicked. Okay guys, so at this point, also I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, install the battery. I'm gonna just push the battery down here. I still have some adhesive right here from the old one. If not, you can uh, add more adhesive. It's, uh, it's your choice okay just push the body the, the battery down there and i only have one thing left right here which is uh the vibrator i'm gonna just uh, go ahead grab my tweezer and lift that vibrator like that and put it back on the new one guys i just went back and because i forgot to put this little uh i think it's from the front flash this one has a flash in the front right here so you guys can see it's a, like a little lamp and we can also check this on the as you guys can see it has a front flash for the camera which is uh pretty cool and it has this uh little uh plastic so it helps the flash to to be uh to flash stronger to light stronger so 
that's the only piece I was missing. So now I'm going to mount uh, the motherboard. There we go. We have the motherboard right here. I wanna just put this little uh, protection that I took off. Okay, I'm gonna install this the same way I took it out. I'm gonna just push it down there from the bottom and let it just click right here on the top. Remember, we have a, a couple of uh, uh, clips right there that hold the motherboard. Just, just make sure the clicks right there, nice and easy. Don't break it either. You, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't have to go all crazy on it. There you go. I'm gonna connect the LCD connector right there. Just plug in the LCD. Uh, also the 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 front face face camera, just right there. And last, uh, the battery. And we're gonna turn on the phone and test it, you know, before I even uh, glue, I mean, not glue, before I uh, put all the screws back. So, and that way we can test the, the buttons right here if they work or not. So just gonna push that. And there we go. Woohoo! Yeah, again, we did it again, guys. Look, that is the old one. Look how broken it is. Wow, look. Man, again, sorry about my nail, guys. It looks horrible. Like, it, uh, hopefully, it will grow. So, look at that. Broken. Here is the new one. We can test, uh, you know, I can go probably to, uh, what's it called? Emergency calls and touch some of the buttons right here. If you don't have access to the phone or whatever. Uh, so you guys can see all the features are working uh, nice you see the new frame that's what I'm talking about nice and sealed so that's how your phone is gonna look you see this one uh, just a little fading but if you don't want to buy the whole thing like that you can always buy just the LCD all you got to do from here you see you have an empty frame heat it up with the with the heat gun or a uh, hair dryer, whatever you have on hand, and remove this LCD, clean up really good, and glue the new one with some uh, B9000. All right, guys, all you gotta do now, I'm gonna insert this SIM tray, so I don't forget later. I'm gonna insert the SIM tray, put it in there, and I'm going to put back on the shield that uh, hold in place all the motherboard and stuff like that just push it down there and of course put all the screws back into the phone okay guys and remember uh for the back what we're gonna do is if you messed up the the glue uh all we gotta do is uh just put some a little bit of this uh, B9000 we're gonna go all the way around we're gonna, we're gonna go all the way around put in some of this glue it's gonna help it to it's gonna help it to close the phone really nice you know And remember, all you gotta do from here is uh, connect that little cable back on place, which is the fingerprint. There we go. That's how it goes. And seal it. Just close it down, just like that. And as you guys can see, we're gonna put the uh, if you see it's lifting a little bit like that sometimes, uh, just put a couple of clamps or even some weight. If you don't have clamps, just put some some bookshelves or whatever, something like that. Something just to put weight so it can stay down for a little bit. Meanwhile, the glue dries 
and the phone is gonna be again working perfect guys so as you guys can see we have finished this phone we're gonna turn it on for the last time and like i say guys look here we have that beautiful screen that was the old one and i'm gonna finish this video right here i hope you guys uh enjoyed the video i hope this video helped you uh, don't forget to subscribe guys i'll see you in the next video Thank you.